Hello friends, my name is Sandi Saputra from English Education Majority and now I want to tell a story. The title is The Scope on Inventors. This story will be split on two parts. The first part will be telling by me and the second part will tell by my friends. His name is Ryan Aldrian. I hope you can enjoy this story. Please watch it. Let's we start our story. Why the sad face dream? Daddy asks. We learn about inventors today. Three says, none of them talking about African Americans. The books left them all out. It looked like we didn't invent anything at all. I understand why that you would make, he said. Come help me beg your mom's birthday kids. Let's talk about it. Your school books don't give all information about our histories. That's why your mom and I teach you. Do you know who invented the first mixers that lands, flowers, and eggs? Daddy asked. Who? Will Johnson. Daddy says, an African American inventor. That's so cool. Three says, you don't have to mix it all with spoon and have a tire sand. And suddenly, Dre dropped a jug of sugar on the floor. I will add the sugar. Oh, oh no! I'm so sorry, Daddy. It's okay, Dre. Let's mop it up. Make sure the floor doesn't get sticky. There are plenty of African American inventors, Daddy said. Just like Thomas Stewart's infants, the mob wiring. Wow, Ray says. I can wait to share this in class tomorrow. Now, you are thinking a little mad. Ray and Daddy put the baking pan in the oven. It worked up the sweat, cleaning up the mess, Dre says. It is hot in the house, Daddy says. Let's make sure the furnace is set too high. Dre says, the furnace? Didn't you once say that African American women invent the gas furnace? Yes, Daddy says. Alice Parker invents the central heating system. Uh, I wish these inventors words in my school books, Dre says. Sometimes things happen slowly, Daddy says. If I teach you, you can teach someone else. And the lesson keep going. That's all about the second part. Oh, I'm sorry. That's all about the first part and the second part will be my friends. Hello, my name is Rian Akhaludian and I am continuing uh, the part one of Scope of Inventors that uh, Sandy explained it before. And let's get started. Hurry, Dad said. Let's change your clothes and get you cleaned up before your mom gets home and from work. Dre pulled a dress shirt from the dryer. Dre, did you know George T. Simpson developed America's first automatic clothes dryer? No, but I'm so glad that he did. Now I don't have to wear a wet shirt to the party. It may be dry, Daddy said. But it needs ironing. We must always look our best, especially today for mom. Can you show me how to iron it, please? Trey asked. How do we get the ringers out of the collar on the sleeves? Thankfully, Sarah Bourne created an improving ironing board that makes it easier for our sleeves. I'm glad they invented all these things to help me, Trey said. 
I'm going to invent something one day too, Daddy. I can't wait to see your inventor tree. You have a sharp mind like your daddy. Now run along and get steady and this guest will be here soon. Surprise! Yelled everyone. This is so thoughtful, said Mommy. We made the cake all by ourselves just for you, Mommy. Tracy. It would be have been hard without Ameri- African American inventions. He did a fine job with the inventor's help. Mommy said, You know what else? Gray asked. I'm going to invent an ice cream flinger. I put scoops in the flinger, open my mouth, and let the ice cream fly in. I'd love to try it, Mommy said. Hey, Dre, Daddy said, You will be like Alfred L. Krell, the inventor of the one handed ice cream scooper. I love this sweet invention, Dre said. Ten scoop, please. And that's all. The uh, story has been ended like that. And Dre has the meaningful uh, learning. And then, as all, I'm sorry if I have wrong on the words. And then, thank you for your listening. And have a nice day.